foundries use various molding systems to produce molds for castings, depending on the casting design. Molding systems can be broadly classified as expendable and permanent molding systems. Of all the molding systems, 75% of the castings produced worldwide use the bonded sand molding process, which is a type of expendable molding system. In a bonded sand foundry, several different sub-processes have to be carried out in a carefully synchronized manner to produce a good quality casting. These sub-processes are melting, molding, mold coating, mold assembling and closing, pouring, shakeout, fettling, casting inspection, and post-inspection processing and shipping. Melting includes the selection, the weighing, and the loading of different charge materials into a melting furnace. Once the charge is melted, the melt chemistry is analyzed and corrected, if needed, prior to tapping the metal into pouring ladles. The molding process begins with the preparation of a pattern, which is a replica of the casting made of wood, plastic, or metal. Then, a flask is placed around the pattern to contain the sand. If necessary, suitable filters or sleeves or a combination of both are included in the mold. Next, the sand is coated with liquid binders and hardeners in high-speed mixing equipment, which is also referred to as mixers. The mixing process is extremely important as it ensures all the sand grains are being completely and uniformly coated with the binders and hardeners. Then, depending on the casting design and the casting metal being used, the mold is coated with refractory materials such as zircon, graphite, or aluminosilicate. Next, the molds are assembled and closed. Pouring, or mold filling, is where the molten metal is poured into the mold. Afterward, the metal is allowed to solidify and cool before separating it from the mold. Then, the casting is separated from the molding sand with the use of shakeout machines. The casting may be further cooled prior to cleaning and salvaging. The fettling process is where the unwanted metal is removed, and the rough edges are cleared from the castings. The casting inspection process involves separating defective castings and also verifying the properties and dimensions of the castings. The castings that pass through the inspection may then be heat treated, painted, or both. Finally, the castings are inspected again, packed, and shipped to the customer.